Hi everybody, it's Edith, and this is going to be my last uh, update for this coursework. Um, uh, I'd like to start off by saying that um, I have thoroughly enjoyed working with each, each of you. Um, I've enjoyed visiting with you and discussing things with you on WebEx, as well as uh, I appreciate everyone's feedback uh, on the postings and the updates that I've posted. And um, so, you know, I want to go ahead and just give you a little update as to where I am with regards to my project. I've already turned it in. Um, I went ahead and turned it in in both places. I turned it in as, um, as a draft and then I went ahead and turned it in as a final draft, even though I know that I probably am going to do some more editing on it. I just, I had to step away from it. Uh, for a while and uh, and kind of um, kind of collect my bearings and then um, I'm you know gonna delve into it a little bit more tonight and tomorrow and solidify things and, and tie up any loose ends um, but um, here it is here is my um, my conclusion for the um, for the case studies and so um, uh, First thing I'd like to say is that I think I got my my picture sources correct. I know I didn't do it correctly on the very first case study that we did, um, but since then I did do some research and I, uh, of course, I used the examples from the book and then I looked online and and went to different websites that kind of show you how to do these kinds of things. And so hopefully I've uh, I've corrected the the problem. Um, as you can see, I started off with um, the methodology, just kind of describing uh, generally um, um, what uh, method method I used. Um, my dog's ears are itching, so if you hear like a little helicopter sound in the background, it's Gus trying to uh, shake his ears. <laughs> um, so I, I apologize for that. But as you can tell. Um, I've got um, the different sections going viral on becoming uh, inventive and then that uh, has of course the other sections to it uh, the principle of becoming principle of transformation the principle of consequentiality uh, the principle of vitality the principle of agency principle of virality and then on becoming rhetorical and then my conclusion and my references and so um, I, I, I'm thinking about adding a few things uh, to this particular project I know that I, I talked about um, in this particular section here on becoming rhetorical I did uh, make reference to uh, Langston Hughes um, and his Dream Deferred because um, I, I kind of, um, Langston Hughes of course uh, wrote the poem Harlem in which the coined the, the term the Dream Deferred in his poem Harlem during the Harlem Renaissance and that was like almost a hundred years ago. It was probably about a uh, about 50 years or so after the um, after the end of the Civil War, and so um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like with our our DACA students or our Dreamers, I kind of feel like the, the same thing is is happening to them as well, uh, in that the laws have changed, um, and there were laws in place to protect these students. Uh, students who have come to this, who came to this country when they were children, when they were babies, and um, and they were protected under under the law because they didn't really have a say so in whether or not they wanted to come to this country. So, you know, they're here, and so laws were put in place to protect them. And now, um, under the new administration, they have since done away with those laws. And so, um, you know, again, it's kind of like a, a, a 
I, I, I started to name my paper a dream pulverized because um, the dream is no longer deferred. Now it's just, it's being wiped away. And so um, that I'm thinking of perhaps putting um, some, uh, putting two more pictures in this area. The first of which is of course a picture of Langston Hughes with his poem Harlem and it, where it talks about the dream deferred. Um, I thought about inserting that in that particular section. And then I was even thinking about maybe putting this, uh, this picture because no longer is the dream deferred, but now the dream is pretty much totally canceled. And um, I used pulverized in my, in my writings, um, just kind of a, I guess, a, I don't want to say hyperbole for effect, but just to kind of to give it some emphasis and to so that you know kind of really hone in on that on that point. But um, so th that's where I am. Um, I'm really excited about this project. I cannot thank Dr. Garza enough for um, for helping us through this. Um, walking us through, I think I, I wrote in, in one of her posts how, how uh, the challenges that she, that she proposed um, and the way the class was structured uh, so in depth and detailed, um, it's, 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 it's brilliant, it's very brilliant and, and I really appreciate that. And uh, what, what I, I think what I like most about this class, or what I have liked most about this class, is the fact that, yes, well, I mean, it, it, it was, I mean, it, I'm not going to lie, it was grueling. There were a lot of, a lot of uh, parts to it, and very in-depth, and, and we, I had to do a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, soul-searching, and just a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of cognitive exercises, if you will, and and but that's a good thing. That's a good thing, and so I appreciate Dr. Garza. I appreciate you challenging us in that. And so, um, that's where I am. I know, like I said, I, I need to I need to make some refinements. My conclusion is is a little weak, and I I probably need to go in and and really solidify that. Um, but other than that, I, I, I think I did okay. Um, I tried really hard to, to include not only, uh, I, I kept going back to that case study one and, and just kind of focusing on that, but I, I, I know I needed to go back and insert information from case study two, so um, I tried to do my best to, to make it all inclusive like that. But uh, again, thank you everyone. Um, I wish everyone the very best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And if you, if I can ever do anything for you, uh, you can look me up. You can find, you can email me through the Islander uh, email address, or um, you, you can, you know, contact me. I do have a Facebook page. Uh, it's under Edith Diaz. Um, so if you know if you want to contact me through there as well, I do use that medium quite frequently uh, to just to kind of express um, my you know my personal opinions on things, and so um, um, that's that's about it. And I again I just wanted to thank everyone for all your really uh, great advice and comments and. Um, it's just a, a really, it's been a, a pleasure. It has truly been a pleasure. I've thoroughly enjoyed this class. I, I think every time I get together with my friends or with my family, you know, I start talking about the class and, and it's like they're kind of roll their eyes like, oh geez, there she goes again. But I just, I can't say enough good things about it. So thank you everyone. And uh, again, good luck with your endeavors and take care. Bye.